So I don't think I actually filmed an intro intro to this, so I just want to say hello, it is the day after Valentine's Day, so all the love has escaped my heart and has been replaced with physics. So yeah, this video is going to be about me studying for my physics test, and I think I say more in a little bit, so here's that. <laughs> hello angels, it is me, Flo. It's been a hot minute, I have been doing the most and nothing at the same time, if that makes any sense. But I decided to take you along with my journey this week as I study for my physics exam and like show you how I study and also get myself to do anything because, you know, the pandemic has stolen all of my energy. But it's um, an exam over two chapters. Both of the chapters are waves. So I just want to like show you how I would normally study and yeah so uh, let's do it okay so i consider myself a planner so the first thing i like to do is write out everything that i need to like review or do for the first time before the exam and i usually write it out all on my ipad and then i will kind of use this weekly planner thing to like write out things i could do every day as the days get closer to the exam. So my exam's Friday afternoon. I have a class right before that, so rip. Yeah, so I'm just gonna like write out everything on my iPad here. So, um, basically, let's see. What I'll write is like, we'll do practice exams. Uh, we could do homework. And we could do practice problems. So there is the fall 2020 exam. Oops. 2020. And there is the summer 2020. And then for homework, there is chapter 16 homework and chapter 17 homework and then practice problems chapter 16 odd problem and chapter oh, and chapter 17 and chapter 17 odd problems so there i have like all the resources that i could use for this exam and honestly it really doesn't look like that much so i think most of my time will be done like redoing the problems especially the practice exam problems and the actual practice problems because our homework is only like this one was four questions and this one was 10 questions so it really wasn't that much and they weren't super hard so like i might do the homework in the beginning just to review like simple content oh also oh my gosh i almost forgot in lecture I'll put lecture problems. In lecture, we have like more conceptual problems that we do. Um, and there's kind of a lot of them. So I'll maybe like screenshot them and put them all in one like, I guess, PDF thing. I'm using OneNote to take these notes. So like I'll put them all in one like OneNote thing and like answer all the questions and like write out the logic for the questions. So chapter 16, lecture problems, and chapter 17, lecture problems. And honestly, I might do that one first because that way I can go through the slides again and like look at them one by one. And then from there, I can like remember how to do the problems and then also have a nice overview of everything so then when I go back to everything else it'll be easier. So there's a few ways I could go about like doing this. I could either do like all of chapter 16 one day and all of chapter 17 another day um, and then just like do each component of them but like on different days or I could just do like all the practice exams one day or something like that. So this is kind of where I get a little bogged down. It's just kind of like, you just have to start. So I think I'm going to start by re-watching the lectures this evening. And honestly, a lot of the lectures I kind of skip through and just like 
look back. Actually, I'll take that back. I'm not gonna rewatch the lectures. Instead, I'm gonna look through the lecture slides that our professor posts. And the slides have like annotated notes on them. And I'm going to put those in my notes and then do the problems as I read through the slides. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. So I was just telling Joshua, who I'm on Zoom with, <laughs> that honestly doing problems right now is kind of relaxing just because like I actually know what's going on. So it's like satisfying to like do the problem, get through it, listen to some music, you know, or if I don't know how to do the problem, just look it up and learn how to do it so that next time I can do it on my own. But yeah, I like, I don't know, I always talk about how physics gives me a headache, which it does, but I like what we're learning now since it's just waves and it's like really rewarding to like understand it and like do the problem. So yeah, don't don't think this means I like it, but I'm kind of chilling right now. It's pretty good. Um, okay, good morning. So I was just in physics and I was contemplating leaving class to like do more practice problems because we're learning stuff that's not in the test. And the fire drill just went off, so we like went downstairs, but then it stopped, so we came back upstairs, and now I'm just like... <laughs> uh. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, a fire alarm just went off, and apparently it was a test, so now that I'm out and about, I'm gonna go get some coffee at Dunkin', and then just do some practice problems instead of going to class because things are recorded now. So that's literally the only perk of Zoom, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Y'all, they really made a perfect today. I have my Lipton Hall mug, my food. I'm on Zoom with Joshua, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, <laughs> I just realized I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I just realized I, just realized I like can record all my, oh girl. <laughs> so Avni and I were just reflecting and I, what we've been reflecting on is like how our study habits and like how we've been, how we've had to learn has been so different like during this time. And like, I don't know, I feel like, I guess because I'm talking about how I've been studying in this video, like I used to be able to go to the library and just like do practice problems for hours and then like that would be fine. But now I really have to like take breaks, like <laughs> mental breaks. I, so like, I get so tired so fast. Just it's like the lifestyle has changed so much. And we we're talking about how we have literally felt ourselves and like watched ourselves change our habits throughout the past few weeks slash months. And like, you really have to adapt to everything that's coming your way. Like we have been thrown in the middle of some bullshit. <laughs> Honestly. And I've changed a lot too. And I can like feel myself developing new habits and like doing things that I would have never done before. But that such is life. My brother, he's a freshman and like that's challenging. Mm -hmm. I feel like, but like as juniors, I feel like it's like hard in the sense that like we had already adjusted to college in a way and like we're still in the process. Yes, it's and like we like, had to jump into a completely new yeah. boat of things. Cause for people, I understand it's difficult if you're a freshman, but you were starting something new and this was that something new. Yeah. I feel like for us, yeah. it's like start something new. And then that is like, right. We got like a little used to it. Started yeah, to like finally. And, and now like, we're gonna be starting something new in the next year. Starting our lives outside yeah. of college is just like one thing after another. Yeah. In terms of like me actually like the point of this video like studying physics, it's like you know I just have to have had a lot of grace with myself. And today I think was a really good day. I didn't really film, but like I did a lot of problems and I was like actually able to like 
work, but I'm gonna try and do more like Pomodoro type stuff and like take, like be mindful of the breaks that I'm taking and like mm -hmm. do it in a purposeful way. I think it's so important like recognizing your needs as you go through the Say for me, like today was a- Mars. Today was a- <laughs> Mars. Today was a really like, it was a pretty productive day. And yeah. I think even though I was like hella distracted for a lot of it, I was able to just like take things off that checklist and just do what I need to do. Recognizing that it was hard, but also recognizing that I need to do it and like taking that break when I need, like watching The Bachelor. I'm gonna like, be honest, I feel like freshman and sophomore year, I really didn't like do that actively. Neither did like, like, <laughs> like I think it's so funny because like, like we're saying, we watch Bachelor every Tuesday, like in a little <laughs> shake shack, like my shack, my shack, my shake. <laughs> Like, uh, anyways, I feel like we're doing this and like, we're still able to get work done. We had a productive day and now we're taking the time to relax. And like, yeah, that that's like balance. And I think yeah. that's, that's like balance. It is I balance. think for me, like freshman, sophomore year, I just didn't need those mental breaks in the mm. middle of the day. And that's now, true, like, it is getting harder too, yeah. We're talking about how cluttered our minds are. Yeah. Like, I seriously need, I just can't sit down and do stuff for like three hours straight. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> I feel like we're all just like mentally exhausted. But, but yeah, those are the thoughts for tonight. You know, I'll be back tomorrow doing some more practice. So no. We just end the video there. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. Um, I have no idea why I am up at 6:42 a.m. I am just as confused as you are. But since I'm up. I guess I'm gonna start studying. <laughs>
the day of the exam and I don't want to get too tired either. We'll show you like the list of things I've done so far and like crossing stuff off. So one second. So yeah, so far we're going back to this list that I made the other day. So I've gone through the practice exams, done the homeworks again, looked at the practice problems from the textbook. Chapter 17, I didn't do all of them because I got kind of bored and they were getting, I don't know. I just didn't think I needed them. I went through the lecture problems for chapter 16, but I need to go back and look at the problems for chapter 17. Like in the slides, our professor like has questions that they ask and I just wanna like go back over them. They're more conceptual, but it's important. And then I also read over lecture and did the summer 2020 test, which was this one. And then we have something called adapt adaptive practice on physics, like on, we use Wiley Plus. So it's okay, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna really focus on that, but yeah, this is what I've done so far. So your girl is tired, but I'm gonna call it a night. It's literally like 9.30, so I'm gonna go to bed early, get lots of sleep, probably wake up early for no reason, and then just do what I have to do. Hello vlog. So I'm sorry I look so crazy. I just finished my exam and drum roll please. Da -da 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 -da. I got 100. Yeah. Honestly, that was a really good exam. Like suddenly I think I'm a physicist. So our exam, we can't see the exact questions that we got wrong, but we can see like the feedback. Um, so I got 11 out of 12 questions right, but our teacher is only taking like that you can omit two questions basically. So like it's out of 10, so you can like miss two questions and still get a hundred. So I only missed one question. So I got a hundred on the test, which is very good. I'm glad that I did well because otherwise I probably would have deleted this vlog if I flopped. So I'm glad I didn't flop. And now, honestly, I'm probably just gonna take a nap. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, which is exciting, but I'm glad you could join me on this journey of studying throughout this week. It's been a lot, it's been real, and we did the damn thing, so let's get it. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one, bye. You see a art chick, always doing art shit. Show me how she does it, now I only wanna watch this. Like the way she talk about the topics, she believe